everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. That's correct. That is where we are, and that's what time it is. So, if you guys haven't done it already, which you probably have, do us a favor. <laughs> right down there, hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Hit that thumbs up like button. Yeah. It's so little, but it means so much to us. Turn notifications on. Yeah. With the bell. Hit that bell so that you don't miss all the awesome upcoming episodes and our lives where there's constant giveaways of cool stuff like cigars, whiskey, rum last time. Rum. I know. We did rum. So weird. Anyway. Yeah. You can have my glass. Oh, thanks so much. Did you put your lips on already? Nope. Cool. So it's my glass now. Yep. All right. I got to say something right off the hop here. Okay, say it. For this Woody Creek. First, I thought it was a cork, and I went to pull it, and I was like, oh, screw cat. Did you pull a muscle? No. Did you hurt yourself? No. Excellent. But I love this screw top. Something very, very satisfying about this particular let screw top. Let me try. Top. Let me try. Try it, man. It's got like a ribbed edge. It's quite nice. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, as previously stated, Woody Creek Distillers. New in Canada. New in Canada, like yeah. just released? Brand new. I got this yesterday. Well, let me tell you what I can read here. Uh, we'll start at the top. Real Talk, Ryan Jesperson, cask number one. Real Talk. Woody Creek Distillers, Colorado straight whiskey, crafted in copper stills and aged in new American oak. 100% mm -hmm. Olathe corn? Mm -hmm. Olathe? Yeah. Olathe? Olathe? Yeah, Olathe corn. Olathe corn, uh, hand selected by Ryan Jesperson, 50% alcohol, limited edition, aged six years, yep. handcrafted in small batches, distilled and produced by Woody Creek Distillers, Basalt, Colorado, USA. Colorado's been making some crazy good stuff lately. Yeah? Yeah. I, uh, Our precious boulder is from Colorado. My favorite knife company is in Colorado. Colorado. Shout out Spider Co. I have a tattoo. Thanks to the Colorado Avalanche for allowing uh, the greatest player to ever grace the ice with skates, Ray Bork, on their cup. Wayne Gretzky didn't play for Colorado. Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> you dying? Almost. Okay. So, anyway. I read you what's on here. <laughs> I don't know anything else about it. Yeah, so, so uh, give me some info. Real talk. Real talk. Ryan Jesperson, Edmonton, picked this cask. And... Um, it's a unique thing. It's only a couple around. Uh, I have some notes here that I'll How many to bottles of this well, particular? Well, let me, let me bust out the notes. Ryan notes. Jesperson, Real Talk right Cask. Real Talk. Available everywhere at 8.30's Mountain Time. No. Yeah. Not correct. It is correct. This is not available everywhere. His show is. His show is. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry. You silly uh, goose. Yeah, I was coming off a uh, seven whiskey tasting here. so And um, I'm just an idiot. So. <laughs> but I do have some notes here for y'all. And, and the notes. Uh, it says here, hand selected, of course, Ryan Jesperson. His name is on the uh, bottle right there. 210 bottles. Oh, so. And the information I have in brackets, not many left. I would say. Yep. And this is um, uh, only a small batch. Five casks are in their warehouse. Handcrafted in yeah, small batches, and this is baby. cask number one, uh, bottled at uh, 100 proof, 50%. And this was about 100 bucks. Okay, so... For a six-year-old handcrafted Colorado whiskey. Yeah, 100% sweet corn. Yeah, so what is Olathe corn? Yeah, so this corn is grown in a certain region in Colorado, and it's sweet. And it's known for its sweetness, and everyone fell in love with it. Oh, kind of like how Alberta has Tabor corn. Well, whatever. Special corn. Yeah, special corn, but this is way sweeter. Okay. Yeah, the corn. It's got a weird smell. Well, when I, I first like smelled it, it, I was different. like, earthy, like straightforward earth with a touch of, of uh, 
uh, just a touch of tannic alcohol in the background there. <sighs> with with a lot of stone and like really dried young wood in there to me. Ever been in a mine shaft? Mineral. Yes, I have. With the, the <laughs> rotting support 100% beams. 100% those beams, man, with the coatings the on The do not enter sign that you yeah. ignore because you're a kid and This is read. earthy. And in my Instagram review, I said soil twice in the notes, man. I mean, it tastes just like soil, straight up sweet corn, corn husks, and soil. Absolutely delicious. That from Know Your Whiskey. Corn and soil. Soil and corn. For the nose or for the taste? Well, both. The, the taste particularly had soil. Um, and it's we'll soil. Do, well, yeah, let's taste it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Mm. Man, I like this a lot. This is a um, uh, sharper, very intense, packed. At 50% percent shine flavors. Through. Yeah. I forgot water, as a matter of fact. But um, I haven't had the need to add water yet. And this is a unique whiskey. Soil, sweet corn, corn husks. I'm getting corn husks, man, 100%. I dig it. Yeah, after the uh, the initial taste, I find the nose is tamed down quite a bit, a little more pleasant. This is a very earthy, corn-forward whiskey, uh, probably because of the 100% corn. <laughs> oh, lady? Yeah, but it's like very oh, corny, life. very beautiful luscious corn man i always tell people you've heard me say it many times before don't be afraid of corn everybody's terrified of corn they're calling their rice corn whiskey's rice like what are we doing why are we doing this being foolish yeah this is 100 percent olethi corn it's pretty nice yep winner a very long uh kind of vanilla finish as well yeah yeah very long finish i'm fine yeah, it sits with you for a bit, that's for sure. Hmm. It's damn good. Yeah. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Real talk. It's yummy stuff. Anybody who picked up a bottle, I would be shocked if you didn't enjoy it. This is my first from Woody Creek. Um, I've had the pleasure of tasting several Woody Creeks, and they all have this very unique and I would say defining characteristic of a sweet tanginess that's very forward on the tongue. Everyone I had so far, this one! All right, we'll talk about that later. Okay. But that's just like... That's an excellent way to describe it. The one I, I can't, can't think of a better way. I mean, we'll leave you with that. <laughs> well, in that case, cheers yeah. to uh, Woody right. Creek. Woody Creek to William Ryan. H. Macy. I can't believe we didn't speak about William H. Macy. What about him? He's part owner of the distillery, man. Oh, yeah. Well, then. William H. Macy. Ugh. There's some cool names tied to this Dude. bottle, then. Cheers. Seriously, okay? Yeah. Well done, Bill. Man, oh, man. Just I can call him Bill. We're on a first-name basis. Our fathers went to separate schools together. Well, that did not make any sense. Oh, good to me. Much like most of the things we've been talking about this, this entire running program. <laughs> Well then, yeah, so cheers Woody Creek, cheers yeah. William H. Macy, Ryan. cheers to Ryan Jesperson, good Excellent. pick, well done, cheers to you buddy, cheers dog, and cheers to you either. cheers y'all, PWS again, oh, bringing in some cool shit, man, what, do they like, do they have time to sleep, I don't know what they're doing, cool shit, yeah, cool, I'll be sleeping in the shed, once the wife sees a whiskey budget, well, it happens, <laughs> alrighty, See ya. Mm. Back then, it was hard to tell. Oh, God, these chairs. Yes, the chairs. Now you will get that fuck. <laughs> It's definitely not me. It's right. definitely not my girth. So we're not swearing this time then. It'll be hard. Let's try. Just beep it out in the bloopers. Maybe. It's hilarious. Okay. They love it. You sick fucks.